Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and richpicksdaily.com, richtv.io, and we got a pick for you today. We brought this pick. We interviewed the CEO of this company August 14, 2019, when it was at eight cents. This stock went to a dollar 67, was a 20 bagger for our community. Congratulations to investors. And the stocks come back down to 29 cents in Canada. So it's still way higher than when we first started, but we think it's at a really good level. And I'm going to bring you a lot of reasons why I believe this is a company that everybody needs to put on their radar. Everybody needs to put on their watch list. In 2019, the price of silicone at that time was $2,700 per megaton. Now the price for one megaton of silicone is $10,000 US. So I believe everyone needs to put HPQ silicone on their radar, on their watch list right here, right now, HPQ in Canada, HPQFF in America, put on your radar, put on your watch list. We think it could be a big winner. And let's talk about why right here, right now, exclusively with your boy, Rich from Rich TV Live. Make sure you subscribe. Now let's take a look, shall we? So this is the chart of HPQ silicone. And you can see here, I'm going to mark it up and I'm going to show you the low, low and the high, high. And you can see this thing has been as high as 167. And right now it's sitting right now at the low, low that it's been at for the lowest it's been in quite some time. The lowest it's been since September of 2020. Wow. So you can see this is the lowest it's been since September of 2020. So that's why we think it's a good time now to put them on your radar, put them on your watch list. You can see the last time it was at these zones and then you can see where it's at right now. And then you can see their high, which they actually hit on February 20th of 2021, February 16th of 2021. So let's just say 13 months ago, it hit its high of $1.67. It's right now at 29 cents and the lowest it's been since September of 2020. So HPQ in Canada and HPQFF in America, you can see it's really, I believe, in a good zone, lower than where we even would consider the buy zone. It's, it's at a bottom. So we believe that this is a zone that everyone should be aware of, and you should put HPQFF on your radar, on your watch list in America and HPQ in Canada. We believe this is a very good entry point based on the chart analysis. Now let's take a look at some other factors, including their website, hpqsilicone.com, cost-effective and low-carbon emissions provider of innovative silicone solutions. You can see their corporate presentation right on their website, latest press releases, and you can join their newsletter. I've joined their newsletter. You can also go to their Facebook, which will go right to their Facebook and follow them. So we are now following them on Facebook. And you can also go to their LinkedIn. So this is LinkedIn and I'm now following on LinkedIn, HPQ Silicone Resources Inc. You can see here, and I can go back to their website from there, and you can scroll down and learn more about HPQ Silicone. HPQ Silicone Resources Inc. is a TSX venture listed symbol HPQ resource company that focuses on becoming a producer of nano silicone materials and nano wires for use in silicone metals applications in diverse global market sectors. It's objective in collaboration with world-class technology partners. HPQ is working towards demonstrating its unique capacity to be the lowest cost producer of the advanced silicone material 
SI materials needed for the next generation of lithium ion batteries. And then if you scroll down, you can get to their news and blogs. I'm going to go through a piece of news that everyone should be aware of. And that is what I wanted to show you. You can also subscribe to the newsletter and get all the information you're looking for, contact information and investor information. So that's the website. Now I want to show you guys the news, HPQ Silicone issued US patent for PureVape trademark Quartz Reduction Reactor Technology, HPQ Silicon Resources, Inc. on the TSX under the symbol HPQ. And you can see here the symbol in America is HPQFF on the OTCQX exchange. And in Germany under the symbol UGE, an innovative silicone solutions and technology development company, pleased to inform the shareholders and that further to our November 29th, 2021 press release, the United States Patent Trademark Office issued U.S. patent number 11,267,714 entitled Silica Too High Purity Silicone Production Process to HPQ Silicone Resources, Inc. on March 8th, 2022. HPQ U.S. patented Pure Vape Trademark QRR Process the key to our development and monetize strategy. The U.S. patent covers the Pure Vape trademark quartz reduction reactor QRR innovative process, which permits the one-step transformation of quartz, SIO, into high-purity silicon metal up to 4N plus SI. The material sought after by battery makers and high-value application manufacturers at significantly reduced costs energy input, and carbon footprint than traditional processes. HPQ on target to start the Pure Vape Trademark QRR pilot plant. HPQ Pure Vape Trademark QRR disruptive advantages means that not only can it produce a higher purity silicone material than traditional processes in one step, but it also does not require the extremely pure feedstock needed by conventional processes. In fact, the process only requires 4.5 MTs of raw material to make one MT of silicone versus the six MT required by conventional processes. A, I believe that's megatons, a 25% reduction, which potentially allows a 20% cash cost advantage versus the lowest cost traditional silicone producer. Since 2015, HPQ PureVet trademark QRR has been at the forefront of disrupting silicone manufacturing and industry that still relies on a traditional process to make silicone first developed in 1899. The U.S. patent insurance on our novel new approach to making silicone combined with the end of Q1 start at the G3 Pure Vape trademark QRR pilot plant have culminated at an opportune time as demand for high purity silicone from the battery and high performance material companies continue to rise just as bottlenecks we had foreseen are now occurring in the silicone supply chain with ESG principles playing an active role in material sourcing the world is more aware of the difficulties of securing the ESG compliant silicone needed to meet its renewable energy goals the reality of chronic underinvestment in new technologies combined with the offshoring of silicone production capacity has created a massive opportunity for HPQ as its pure vape trademark QRR patent process as we are the only company to bring to market a new process for making silicone that is perfectly suited to the new demands and realities of the silicone market. And you can see right there, they're working very closely with Pyrogenesis Canada PYR in Canada on the TSX and PYR on the NASDAQ. This is their company deck right here, HPQ Silicone Resources, Strategic Silicone Solutions, powering the clean energy transition. And you can see here, net zero investment expected to reach 6 trillion annually. You can see here, HPQ is developing new processes to make the critical elements necessary 
for net zero, ready to become the lowest cost producer of silicone nanomaterials needed for the renewable energy revolution, ready to become the lowest cost producer of pure silicone 99.5% SI up to 99.99% SI for specialty applications. And investment highlights, developing new technologies and products for a greener future, HPQ Pure Silicone Initiatives, developing strategic silicone solutions for proprietary low-cost transformation technologies, transforming silica into higher value products, battery sector, silicone nitride, and more. Technologies protected by multiple HPQ-owned patent applications, HPQ Fume Silica Initiatives, developing a proprietary new low-cost green transformation technologies to make fume silica application to a wide range of industries, pharmaceuticals, agriculture, and more. Technology protected by at least one HPQ patent application. Innovative technologies can support other verticals such as green hydrogen processing, measured and achievable three-year growth plans for commercializing technologies, strong and experienced management team, and board supported by technology partner Pyrogenesis Canada. So Silicon SI or silicon metal is a semiconductor material <clears throat> and the second most abundant element in Earth's crust. Like all other energy metals, lithium, graphite, cobalt, nickel, etc., it does not exist in its pure state and is expensive to extract. EU declared silicon a critical raw material as a wide range of modern technology depends on it to make various numbers of industrial or consumer products. Silicon demand to reach 3.8 million tons worth US 10 billion by 2025. So silicon challenges are HPQ opportunities. Silicon market is ripe for the development of disruptive technologies. HPQ strategic silicon solution initiatives focus on developing these disruptive technologies HPQ first disruptive technology, low cost, 4N, 99.9% silicone. So you can see what the value proposition and the develop and monetization opportunities are. Innovation and incubators, HPQ silicone resources, divisions and, and subsidiaries, and products of interest. The addressable market estimated by 2025, 3 million MTs, I believe that's megatons, worth about USD $10 billion, growing at a CAGR compound annual growth rate of 13%. 2021 market estimated at a market of $8.9 US billion. Battery material estimated market demand for 200,000 megatons by 2030. Estimated by 2022, 424,000 megatons worth about USD $2.2 billion. So huge market opportunity that HPQ silicone is a part of. And that's why I believe everyone needs to put them on their radar, put them on their watch list and be aware of the general market environment for silicone as evolved to HPQ advantages. The last time we spoke about HPQ was in 2019, 2020, when it was actually at, I believe, I think it was at between four to eight cents at that time when we started talking about it. It went as high as $1.67. You can see here their disruptive technologies, all the different projects they're involved with. And they're also partnered with a NASDAQ listed company, PYR. So be aware of Pyrogenesis and their partnership with Pyrogenesis. Demand for the material HPQ is producing is going up every day. And that is even taking into consideration the demand for HPQ silicone for the batteries market how much the company has de-risked itself with having more than one vertically to develop because they are involved in many different verticals, as you can see here. So all these different verticals is what makes them very special because they're involved with many different markets. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're live. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We break down the deals. 
And we do it every single day for companies that we believe are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Investing is inherently risky. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything. We talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. But in saying that, we believe this is a company that is working with Pyrogenesis that's on the NASDAQ. You can see their management board and others. What do you guys think? If you like the video, smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. This is Rich from Rich TV Live. And you can also go to Rich Picks Daily where you can talk about companies like HPQ Silicone and chat with other members in our community about stocks and trending topics like HPQ Silicone. And anyone can join our membership and just literally talk about stocks. You can see all their contact information. Feel free to contact the company. If you guys have any questions, if you're a current investor or you would like to potentially invest in the stock or in the company, feel free to directly contact the company. You can see they are public, fully transparent. And thank you guys for watching. This is Rich from Rich to be live and I'm out.